And we're back with some more Record CCG. Hello everyone, Steve D here. I'm playing some Firewater EX Press today. Because win or lose, it's hysterical to see Thornton landing damage for the 17 millionth time. Aren't you really excited to play four forwards turn one and get them all returned to hand and assorted shenanigans? Sometimes I think about it at night. So do I, so do I. Probably in the same way, but from different perspectives. I think uh, I'm a lot further down here than you are, so. I have more blood rushes to my head. Lots of aims. Even in Do you want a cup? Uh, do you want to try and cut? Don't cut me there. Those are my good cards. I'll keep this. Yeah. Oh, I'm too tired. I'm late yeah, it's been a long day. Uh, th 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 this is a, a friendly recorded at the end of Locals, and uh, I won. It was good. Bit of Firewater Nights. Video should be on YouTube by now. Enjoyable deck. So is this, though. So is this in a funny kind of way. Mulligan? Mulligan? Okay. I'll take the play. Okay, we're playing a Yuna, and I really, really don't want to be casting Remora against many things. So I'll pass it. Scarf Cloud and Layla. Scarf Well, that's not very really cash money of you. Uh, okay. No freeze, yeah. I assume that had to be her. Okay. What do I want to do here? Uh, probably. Probably. There are. By paying Axstar, Horom, and Fire. And I'm going to get a uh, princess here and just play it on fire. Sure. I'll pass there. Based on what's in hand, I think it kind of curves me out. That's what I'm Do you want to cut a really good EX burst to the top? No, I'm okay. Uh, okay, that's a terrible EX burst to see just now. It's uh, just a large Um, hmm. Yeah, it's okay. I'll, I'll not bother triggers. You know, Larsa could come to my hand in exchange for another card, but I don't know. I don't know. Is it, is it worth it? Is it worth it? You know what? Yes, it's worth it. Pass on. Thank you, Candy. Hmm. Okay. Seems like a rough opener. It's a hard deck to be aggressive against this one. Axe Star Copy Thorns. I'm going to grab myself. Not grab myself. I'm going to say I'm going to grab my. <laughs> Sorry, I made myself laugh. Uh, grab a Lakshmi. Sure. Just a one-off, but it does a lot of work in games where I feel like I've got the luxury to throw it down and see what happens. You are off the cut. Uh, screw it, I'm going to just go for Lars on the Vi, let's be uh, pass there, draw a card. I wish that had been an EX person. So is this deck playing 17 or 16 backups? 16. 16, but uh, 16, but they're just not showing up. Okay. Yeah, I'm so good. Uh, okay, Layla and the turbo guy. So was that? Yeah, okay. okay. One, two, three, up oh, there we go. Probably the best hit you could get, unless you go for a really wide chain. Seems fast. 7k no text, 8k no text. I would need 5 cards in hand for Lakshmi to be able to tag the hit. Uh, it's time for an EX. No, it's not. It's an amateur or two. Okay, that's weird. That's really weird. Uh, right. I'll attack on Lakshmi. I'm not going to be blocking an awful lot in the early game. Get away Kronos. And I think I'm happy to just pass there and draw another card of Lakshmi. Oh, sure, sure. Oh, who's that? Okay. Um, you know what? I think 
Don't go on the terrace either. Then, and I think she just passed her in again. I really don't want you replaying Alayla or a COD. I don't know. I feel like it's too easy for you to do a lot of damage with COD. One up. Sure. Massive house party for nine. Yep. Yeah. Gap party. Uh, Okay, if, if the damage is coming in ones, we can take it. I'm a little bit scared that you've got Jekt, and I'm a bit scared that you've got Yuna as well. Look at my EX burst, there's 30 in here. I'll start taking them at some point, right? Nah, nah I, I, I don't dig out of here unless I hit a really good EX. Terrible do. Terra's tolerable. Terra gets me. Hamaterasu looks good. Remora's looking better the more I think about the big things in your deck. Remora during your. Nah, it's a bit too slow. Remora's just too slow. Hamaterasu stops degenerate things. So. How is Hamaterasu? It's a lot to discard, but I really don't want you drawing two cards. You being tapped out is kind of where I want you. Two in hand. I think, given the context of what I'm against, it's worth me dropping everything on an Amaterasu and unit. Okay. Faster. Cool. Interesting. Interesting. I kind of just lose if I sit here and do nothing until you draw the snow. But at the same time, <laughs> everything I have is really inefficient, and I don't want to attack them. I, I, I want to keep you obligated into partying and stuff like that. So, damn, I think I just, I think I just need to outlast your cards. Uh, Pastor, Pastor draws a life. Hope that that'll be enough. Leave in spectator sports. Okay, Stern, the, the nature of the game changes somewhat. Uh, go to end of turn, Black to the end of turn. Uh, sure, yeah, yeah, go ahead. Just taking a look in here to see what there is. Attack on sealed, gotcha. Hmm. I think the most elegant thing I have is Yuna and a bunch for Leviathan. It only cost me five because of Yuna. I'll return COD to your hand and top decks turn. Which means you kind of have to use Stern's effect now, or it might be too slow. It might be too slow otherwise. Cosmant? Two now. So I am. So I don't have another amateur Asu. Not that you can amateur Asu us there. Nice to be back in our local game store of Comic Crazy. Have been for a while, but it's just not been feasible to record until we. Okay, that's a four. Would would kill Lakshmi? Maybe that's what you're looking for. I don't know. Yeah, kill uh, Okay, uh, remove four kill match. I'll scoop those. Uh, wait, actually, I'm going to put a back and down because that's king of really. Oh, yeah, yeah, okay, sure. I'm just removing a different four forwards. It's just a casual game, so I'm not going to be too uh, anal about it. Yeah, she's kind of done her bit. Although COD, uh, yeah, that's one of the CODs. And you return the other COD to hand? At the beginning, it was yeah. yeah, but then when you start getting all these nine decks. Just uh, familiarise myself with what's left there? If you discarded both your guns, I had to because I didn't have fire sequels for that one. I made a miscalculation and said I didn't think I would have any more ice. And I didn't need a fire this time because I was like, oh, I'll just get fire. Well, that's a party and a half. Okay, uh, what do I get out of taking damage by you other than maybe an EX? You can't spell. Yeah, you can get off the top. I'm kind of okay with you having to stare back. Maybe, maybe. Um, do you want my Astinia? I might regret this. I'll take damage five. Leonora.
for contextually, I think Palom is really strong. Really economizing on backups in this deck. I'm just playing backup engines and a very low number overall, but so long as you see one of your engine cards in the top 11 cards of your deck, you can play a convincing game. And that happens way over 90% of the time. Uh, take my draws. No, she's not sure. I on the top. I can kind of give you a dead draw if uh, if you play Stern, but if you play Stern by discarding forward, which I know you've got in hand, then you would have another activation. The question is, do I want to off the top of your deck or not? I think I do. I'll attack off Stern. Maybe that unbricks you. I, I, I'm not entirely sure yet of the, the intricacies of this matchup. We'll go Palom for 4k on the Viking that doesn't draw a card. I don't want you to replay a Layla, and I really don't want that Viking to die and give you a card right now. Remora is entirely terrible in this matchup, so I'm going to go Larsa. I'm going to take back an Amaterasu and put a Bahamut there, so that maybe another Axstar, if I ever play one, can do something more meaningful. And I think that having the Amaterasu here is quite good. Uh, I'll just pass it. Quite a powerful list, this. I wasn't sure at first, but the, the, there's a lot of card selection, and uh, naturally the EX first gave out a reasonable game against that. So Larsa sent uh, 7k just now. Yeah, uh, Larsa gives my whole field 2k for every 3 EX burst in damage. Right, okay. So if I, if there are 6 EXs, which can line up uh, if you play Larsa enough times, you can give your whole field 4,000 power, but getting to 2,000 power everywhere, it's it's kind of like what least the Scion does, but only once you're already on damage 5, whereas here it's, it's possible as early as damage 3, and possible to give you some card selection at the same time. Okay, play the, play the setup game a little bit more. I know I won't Amaterasu the Granny. Everybody's favourite Granny, am I right? <laughs> Got to get in those Granny comments while we still remember. It's been a long time. Not seen one of those cards in a while. <laughs> Whoa, flicking my cards everywhere. You can tell it's been a long day. Okay, I'll attack with the small one, but I really don't think I can afford another attack just now. Tapping out just seems too risky. So we'll do two water for Machiri. I have got, just for record's sake, one, two, three, four, five. Six summits here. Potentially could activate Machinery twice. And I guess I could like bounce my own Axe back to hand and then repeat any experts. But I would rather hold it during your turn if you do it. Funny. I'll pass there. I'll pass there and hold that amateur asset over your head for another turn. And now it only costs two. Seems like the lack of ICP might be hurting you. I don't know. Oh, well, there we go. That's something. That's a tough one. That is very tough. So another Viking. Sure. Uh, I'll let that resolve. I think the Vikings might have been thinned out of the deck a bit. Sure. Is it worth me doing this at the end of turn? I think it might. It might be just for the sake of using my CP. I'm going to go two for Bahamut and remove Layla from the game. And assuming you don't have anything else to do, I'll take my turn. I attack for seven. And, uh, let me see. Let's go two for Forum. 4K Forum. The world is not ready for 4K Forum. I want to do more, but I'm also acutely aware of how much Mashuri is doing. Being able to cash in my breaks on to draw a bunch more cards is something that's on my mind. But uh, I'll, I'll probably wait on... Uh, I'll, I'll see how lethal this turn looks. I'll just fast. 
Like I say, I believe in spectator sport. Here's a look at what's in my hand. Hopefully you can see what I'm thinking. It's amazing actually considering I'm only playing effectively two fire backups in this deck. I really don't think too much. Okay, so that's 5 CP for Shiva. Uh, what is your target for dulling? Uh, 10k and 8k, 4k. Theoretically, you could pick a backup, but add some. Corum. Corum? Ah, you really don't want me having cards, do you? I think it looks possible for you to kill me this turn if I don't do something big about it. I guess I could. You don't want to flicker Shiva just now because it would mean losing your snow, and I think snow is probably your best avenue to finding a lethal. I think to keep myself alive. I have to Amaterasu that one too. I have two in hand and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight summons in the Brick Zone. Curtain attack. Dull Forum and Dull Mercury. Okay. And the four blocks are declared. Remove my backups. Dull Freeze Axe Gun. Dull Freeze Axe Gun. Hmm. That is a tough one. Okay, yeah, we'll we'll freeze everyone. And I think I'll take damage six. It was always kind of a plan to hit damage six. Fast on. Could you lean? I'll notionally turn off Shiva, draw a card, yep. and then I'll take a sweet little turn. Happy little turn. Awaken my inner Bob Ross. <laughs> it's better than my outer Bob Ross. Okay. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five. Let's go Cloud, kill Shiba. And I'll pass it. <laughs> For a snow, okay. Before you go to combat. I think... You know what, it's okay, it's okay, you can go to combat. That with a Viking, presumably Dylan Cloud. I think it is in my best interests to... What summons do I need the least? Remora's just way too impractical against Vikings. So can you play at least Vikings? I can bounce them back to your hand. And that saves me for this turn. So I'll go bounce, uh, remove, 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 Mashuri, bounce that Viking back to hand. You'll draw a card when it left the field. Might as well obligate I do the same again, right? Uh, I could gamble on drawing a card. Theoretically, that is higher tempo, but I need assurances, you know. I want pictures of Spider Man. I'll remove three and bounce him back to your hand as well. <laughs> and, and that's basically game, yeah. There, there's no way to come back from uh, what this represents. Open too poorly. The, oh, open too poorly. I think you did the right thing. E even in a poor game, it's important to analyse the lessons of what went right and what are the best ways you can play well. Uh, in the actual tournament today, I opened abysmally for game one, but it just turned into a kind of aggressive game where I answered the right cards at the right time. And I think your best chance did come from dull freeze my backup, hope that I was relying on it for curve. And I kind of was. You made me pay one more card than I intended to on that turn because I, w I wanted to go discard, discard Sarah, tap Princess Sarah, yeah. but being on three backups I, I was kind of comfortable enough with what would happen, and it's actually amazing that that Larsa EX, I feel like that kind of kept me in the game because yeah, the, 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 there, were, there were a number of really powerful things that came about from the EXs here, so uh, yeah, just in case the blade is really bad, uh, the first damage was Larsa, and I added that to hand to put a Thord in there, so that the Axe Star I had in hand could search for anything I wanted to, and uh, I feel like that really kept me in the game Yuzuki's a nice little bit of tech just now. It's, it's kind of nice to be able to give that garland effect everywhere. There's not tons of fire forwards in the deck, but I just appreciate the reduction in general. So. It's anti primal. I, it's pretty good anti primal, yeah, but Bismarck pings are not going to do an awful lot. Oh, well, nothing with mass removal, but yeah, Bismarck with film. Yeah. yeah, same, same. It's, it's been a long day. It's fun though. Good to be back with FFTCG and uh, thank you very much again for watching. Please uh, drop your rates and hates in the comment, but mostly rates, you know, we're sensitive people.